G'day guys, welcome to Yana Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig and I'm back today with another new makeup hangover video. Now I know it wasn't that long ago that I just done one, I think it was like two weeks ago, which is why I've only got five things to talk about today. I am considering maybe doing it like once a month because as I said in my last video, um, there's not a lot of makeup releases that really get my juices flowing, you know, it doesn't get me like revved up. But um, anyway, if you don't know anything about these videos, this video was created originally by Emily Hanhan, Teresa is Dead and Audra at Home, where they take makeup products that have recently been released that they didn't get to talk about in their previous new makeup nonsense video, and then they can talk about it in these videos. I don't do those ones um, purely because I, I'm, as I said, I'm not as excited about every release that comes out or majority of them. There's only a few here and there and that's why I'm doing these videos and today I want to share with you five products that piqued my interest for one reason and another and if you're interested in hearing what I have to say, stay tuned. Welcome back guys. All right. If you're interested in knowing on what's on my face, I have either a video that I've either just uploaded, just doing my makeup, where I talk about all these products, or it's going to be the next one, so stay tuned. <laughs> so let's get into the video. I have everything saved on my phone. Uh, as I said, there is not a lot of products that are brought out that makes me really interested. Uh, I do have five products to share with you guys today, and um, let's just get into it. Eh? So the first product I want to talk to you guys about is the Youth to the People Polypeptide 121 Future Cream. This stuff looks interesting. I have not tried anything from Youth to the People yet. I, I, I want to. Um, I'm just not sure. Hmm. I've, I've had some conflicting um, uh, reviews, like I've read some conflicting reviews, and I'm just not sure if it's for me. But this is something that I think I've really been loving peptides and ceramides lately. Um, you know, I've only just discovered uh, CeraVe or CeraVe, whatever you call it. I know I'm completely behind the times. Um, and I know that's a pretty basic product, but then I tried um, Ole Henriksen's um, Strength, what is it? Uh, Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer, and I'm absolutely in love with that. So when I saw this, I thought, oh, maybe. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be a lightweight moisturizer with peptides and ceramides that replenishes, seal and moisture. Increase skin's elasticity, elast, elast, I can't say that word properly, helps visibly firm, reduces the look of fine lines and wrinkles and strengthens, strengthens the skin's moisture barrier, all skin types, and it's $64. Um, yes, please. I actually really do want to try this. Yeah, when's it out? Does it say? It says it has been revealed, but I can't. I can't see when it's going to be out. Sorry, guys. I'll leave it on the um, I'll leave it on the screen if it's already out. But yeah, I'd like to try this. Um, fifty nine mil. That's an interesting um, amount in a jar. Okay, I'm used to either like fifty or a hundred or hundred and twenty five. I guess fifty nine mil makes it a perfect um, two fluid ounces. I guess that's where it, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm definitely keen on trying this. Uh. If you've tried it before, I'd love to know what. Well, you kind of tried it if it's not out. I don't know if it's out though. But if you do try this, um, I'd love to know your thoughts. And um, Or even if you tried anything from youth to the people, I'd love to know what you think. Because I am curious. I do want to dip my toes into the brand. I just haven't done that yet. Talking about another sort of skincare brand, the next thing I wanted to talk to you about is CeraVe or CeraVe. Um, as I just said, I've recently just discovered these guys and they are bringing out uh, three things actually. They're bringing out a makeup removing cleansing balm, which is right up my alley. Um, it's just my favorite way to remove makeup and to clean my face, to be honest with you. They are also bringing out a comforting eye makeup remover, which uh, if they're bringing out a um, makeup removing cleansing balm, Balm. I'm not sure why they need the eye makeup remover. Um, it should do both. I don't know. I'll look more into that. Maybe you can't use the um, cleansing balm on the eyes. And if that's the case, then I don't want it because I want it to do everything and I want it to be safe for around the eyes. And they're also bringing out, what are they bringing? What is that? A um, skin renewing eye cream. Okay. I, um, haven't had a good time with eye creams. They don't seem to reduce the look of fine lines or wrinkles or anything like that. Um, 
for my eyes or dryness or anything. I just don't see, I haven't seen anything good. So I am using a retinol at the moment, which seems to be helping. Not perfect, but seems to be helping. Um, these things take time, especially with retinol. I do apologize again, guys, if you hear noise in the background, my children are home. So um, I am very, very keen on trying this out. The cleansing balm is $13.99, which I think is a fabulous price. The um, makeup removing or oh, eye makeup removing um, what remover, it has hyaluronic acid in it. That is $10.99. I think that's perfectly fine as well. The skin renewing eye cream is $24.99. Apparently this is available now, but it is not yet available in Australia. I've already looked, so bugger. Keep an eye out for that. I definitely will. If I do pick up the um, Removing Cleansing Balm, which is probably the only thing I'll pick up out of those three products, I will definitely let you know what I think about that because I'm almost out of my um, face cleanser, my um, Pharmacy um, Sweet Apple uh, Cleansing Balm, which... I'm going to do a video on so keep in mind for that and um yeah i think this is cool i don't really care about the eye cream if it works you pick but uh, i don't i don't feel like it's going to um I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced with eye creams the next thing i want to talk to you guys about is the laneige lip sleeping mask in the flavor i guess mango i love the packaging on this it looks like really fruity really fresh really like um spring summer um, not that the packaging, <laughs> you know, shouldn't buy it for the packaging. But anyway, this is, uh, this should already be available. This was available on the 6th of uh, July. This has hyaluronic acid and vitamin C with a mango flavor sleeping mask. I'd like to try this. Um, have I tried Laneige? I don't think so. I don't recall. But if I was going to, I... I, mm, mm, it's hard. Some things that are scented or flavoured with mango are like really, really good. But then you've got those other things that are puke. I don't know. I guess it sort of depends. Is it like mango smoothie or is it like that lolly mango? I don't know. But I'm curious about this. Um, I always forget to put uh, like lip balms and uh, lip masks and stuff on my face over night time, but I really got to get into the habit of it. I do have some stuff at the moment, but I've just sort of gone off it, uh, probably because the thing that I have at the moment is tinted and I don't really want that all over my pillow. So maybe I'll try this, I don't know. I don't know if I can see a price. Hang on a minute, let's see, $24. I'm sure that's American, um, but I don't know. I'm definitely interested in trying this and um, yeah, if I don't get a hold of this one, I reckon I should probably try them. Maybe a different one. Hmm. Anyway, let's move on. The next thing I want to talk to you about is from Wayne Goss. This is the uh, Smoky Quartz Luxury Eye Collection. And this is a basic bitch palette. Uh, it really, really is. But I don't know what it is about this. I want to try it. Now, I think there's a few reasons why I want to try it. One, because I want to try Wayne Goss's formula. I haven't tried that yet. Two, because this is probably the first palette that he's brought out where I know that I would probably use all of the shades. Um, most of his other palettes, especially the early ones, had a black in it, and I never use black. Uh, but I would use everything here. Um, it's got a pencil there too. I probably wouldn't use that, but I really do want to get a hold of this. The palette is $55. There is a uh, Essential Eye Coal Pencil in Granite that is... $14 or the whole collection is $69 and it would already be available right now I don't know if it's available in Australia but who knows I gotta wrap this up guys because my battery is going to go flat but the last thing that I want to talk to you about that's on my radar that is either coming out or what well, actually when is it coming out it's not out yet uh, this is the wet n wild uh, it's a Disney collab this is the Lilo and Stitch collection and you know I don't normally care about these kind of collections, but there's some things in here that look absolutely fucking adorable. That um, four pan palette, what is that? Absolutely go, oh my God, look at the sponge. The sponge is everything. Look at the little scoop. What is that? Is that a lip balm or like not a lip balm, a, uh, a lip scrub? Oh my gosh. I know this is gimmicky guys. I really, really, really do. But some of this stuff is so cute it is so freaking cute and i know i shouldn't buy it i know i shouldn't i probably won't even use half of this stuff but it is freaking adorable it is absolutely adorable i want that sponge i want that sponge and i want that palette and i want that little scoopy thing what is that even so we've got a 
Uh, wave sponge and scrub set. A hula honey glow face palette. That's what it is. Okay. A no bad day setting mist. Uh, a Hana shadow palette. I don't really care about that. There's a couple of shades in there that I like, but for most of it I wouldn't use it. The vacation mode makeup bag. Chilling wet lip oil gloss. Got the scoop. Surf's up. Let's rock. Experiment 626 makeup brush set. Carefree waterproof eyeliner set and the Flying High waterproof mascara. Okay, I know I wouldn't use a lot of that stuff, but I want that sponge. I want that, um, what is it? The the um, glow face palette and the, the scoop and the lip thingy, whatever. What is it about a cute release? Anyway, that's it. That, that's all that was on my radar in the last two weeks. The, all of the releases that came out, I, I, I searched Trend Mood, I searched um, Makeup, I can't remember what it's called, but I searched the web and that's all I could find. So I am thinking about making these one every month, not every two weeks, because I'm only going to have like five products, maybe like, maybe a 10 minute video, maybe a 15 minute video, I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to share those things with you guys and um, I hope you liked what you saw and if you're going to pick up any of these things, let me know because I want to know, I want to know if they're good, I want to hear all the goss, comments down below, hit me up, I hope to catch you in my next video and um, yeah, till then, take it easy, bye.